about Terminator Genesis. Oh, no. The oh, no. fifth, the fifth, stop that. The I thought fifth. he would never get to say that again after the, he got elected governor. No, 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 no. He's got too much of an ego to stay away from movies. <laughs> uh, and this one, uh, you know, he's made about three or four since he's been back, uh, done being governor. And, of course, he's back here because none of those other films have been hits. And, of course, we've <laughs> got to go back to what made us famous. Terminator Genesis is a prequel. It's a sequel. It's a reboot. It's an alternate version. It is tries to be everything to all viewers, and in some senses it works, and in others it is a complete mess. Uh, I'm going to try and explain some of this to you, but uh, you know, you probably need a graph and a pie chart and a timeline to really keep track of this. There we see John Connor all scarred up and everything, and as we know from the first Terminator film, he's about to send Kyle Reese back to 1984 to help save his mother and protect him from the Terminator that has gone back to kill his mother so that he cannot be born. But in this film, before uh, Kyle Reese can go, something happens and it alternates or it uh, alters the timeline that he is sent back to. Everything that we know about the Terminator films then is thrown into question. We have hit the restart button oh. and everything you thought you knew, well, you don't know anymore. And there's Sarah Connor, played by Amelia Clark from the uh, Game of Thrones show. She is Sarah Connor there and uh, she knows everything that's going to happen and has turned herself into a warrior long before she was supposed to. How does Arnold turn into key into all this. Well, it's a kind of interesting. There is Arnold back uh, from 1984, and there he is today. And they have an interesting little fight with each other oh, early no. in the show, which is kind of cool. But what happened is, is that Arnold, the robot, actually was sent back in the mid-70s, according to this film, has been stuck in time and is aging along with Sarah Connor. His directive is to protect her at all costs. If I were to go into any more of this, your head would really, really ache. And I'm not <laughs> sure it all works. Works. Frankly, I would have to see it again to make sure that all the pieces fit together. But I will tell you this. I was never bored with it. I was intrigued by it. It was interesting. As I say, I'd willingly sit through it again just to make sure that it all fits together. It's much better than Terminator Salvation. And, of course, they leave themselves wide open to do this again. For the next one. Yeah. For the next one. Actually, they have two more planned because the rights to Terminator revert back to James Cameron in 2019. So they want to crank out two more before well, that happens. This one's so good no, enough that I want to see another one. No watch checking on that one. No. No, not at all. So no, no. does it does it matter? I guess that's a that's a, I think an important question. Does it matter for those who haven't seen the Terminators that weren't alive? You have a whole other generation that's been born and is now seeing movies. <laughs> since. Right, right. Well, that is a problem. I mean, if you don't know what's going on, forget it. You so, will be so completely lost. So it doesn't tell lost. itself. Mm. It it tells an, a little, but not enough for you to catch okay. every little thing that's there. This is a film for the fans, no doubt. Okay, okay me like and 